Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio tutorial and we continue exploring our integration with the animation in a view. So one thing what I have it I have footage here down in green screen so you can see the our pirate walking out and before in previous tutorials we did integrated replace with background what I want to do here it is have it some background and also replace right here with foreground trees so it's like in a forest and he may become on some open space happily dancing and falling down somebody shot him or something else happened so one put some trees up front of him a bit more integration to do this we actually need to create several layers in a um, woo so let's begin by creating terrain just stretch a little bit maybe make it a bit lower Next, let's create a couple layers front and back. Next, select select our terrain and replace with vegetation. So we'll go ahead and let's go to look on the so we go right here, we'll select white screen. Okay, so we can Preview a little bit closer. Also, um, let's work right now on our terrain. So we open terrain. Okay, and we go ahead, um, click add layer ecosystem. And let's add plants. Let's go add some palms, some other palms, trees. Let's add bigger. Okay, maybe some. and let's maybe add a tree. Okay, we can populate, but what I want to do, I want to actually do on a background because I don't want to have trees up front. We'll use the paint tool, click on a brush, be sure it's a bit everything selected. I'll just paint right here on the back. If we go ahead and render the screen 640, here we have it. Preview, maybe you know what? Just plant a little bit more right here. And also, when we do paint, let's uncheck the limit density. So it will give it us more on a covering. There you go. It's a little more, more like a jungle. Okay. click OK, let's close it and we'll go ahead and put this in the background to drag the terrain. Next up front I want to add some plants. So we'll go right click, let's select maybe a um, coconut tree. Here you kind of need to adjust so it will display better. This is meaning it's a little bit overlay. So we're putting, we have it right here up front. And that will be up front of our pirate. Okay, let's go add plants, smaller one. And just put this as well, bring closer. Okay, select another palm. Maybe even closer right here. Right now what we're going to do is just positioning, creating just a little bit opening right here so it will look more like our pirate come up from the jungle. Make smaller. Place another right here. And maybe do overhang one different tree. So we'll go to the tree. Select some our cherry tree. Okay. 
So here we have our preset view. Let's go take our atmosphere, load, and then just load BSB. Let's give it us better shadows, some lighting. Let's try maybe a little bit more with the ambient light. Bit. Okay. Let's just re readjust the code. Here we have it. Um, I just a little bit don't like right in the back. Maybe we should add. So we'll select our back. Right here on the back, I want to add some bottom. And one trick, we'll just take cherry tree and we'll put it right below. And we'll duplicate another one and maybe one more. This will create nice kind of bush look right here on the back. Okay. Let's see what other atmospheres. I'm kind of don't like other those atmospheres. That wasn't looking very interesting. Of course, we can go ahead and load our atmosphere from Geek at Play, but I want to just find something that we have in here. Okay. Too bright. So we can put it ahead. Atmosphere edit. And let's go in the lights. Make it darker. Let's make more ambient. Change our ambient light. Clouds is fine. Okay, also let's put it our um, quality boost to zero because we don't see the clouds here. If we see cloud, it will be um, nice to do that way. Okay, click OK. Let's preview one more time. And I do like this actual atmosphere presetting because it gives us interesting shadows, front plans. So next what we're going to do is add animation. So let's click on animation wizard. Okay. Show timeline. We'll go click on the camera, right click, edit keyframe, and let's go right back to our After Effects and we'll see how long we have it. So we have it about 20 seconds here. So we'll go ahead, you can just drag to 20 seconds, or you can go inside and just type it. Okay. Now I'll go to drag here's 20 seconds we'll go to add keyframe okay let's go next just to verify it so we have it our atmosphere and okay we have it ecosystem working okay so everything is affecting. Let's go to Atmosphere Editor. Verify the wind is enabled. So it will affect our ecosystem. And before we render, um, we have two things. One, what we need to do, we go to the front, make it invisible. And also when it's select, select all and click hide from render. So what it does, it will render for us only just background. Okay, so let's go to um, click on our animation. We'll set broadcast quality at least what we wanted. We want 24 frames. That's what the original film was done. 
if you don't know you can go ahead and preview right here it's tell you what is frame rate and everything for size 720 by 480 so we can go here 720 by 480 and again if it doesn't have it doesn't support that resolution you can just keep it closer to that okay we'll go also external rendering and one thing what I'm going to do I'll go to use render cows and the reason is why this will take very long if I do just on one machine so let's go to add and I have it actually cow 01 cow 02 3 4 and 5 Okay, the five licensing gets by default coming with a um, Vu Infinity or Extreme. So you can add more if you have it, but we'll use it five cows right now. It's all ready. Okay, but is it ready to render? A couple things we need to render. We need to render the um, original. So let's go background AI. And we need render alpha as well. Actually, for this one, we don't need alpha. We will need it for the front one. So also, as well, what I recommend go in the format option and be sure you have it full frame set. It's a little bit bigger size, but um, quality and easy to use integration with other applications. So we're done on this one. Let's click render animation now. Okay, and here we have it, our initialization going. Okay, and when it starts render, it will open our render manager. And right here, you can see the progress, how fast the renders will be going overall. When we rendering background, we can go ahead. It's one nice thing about render a cow. So render is continue with, can continue working to add additional um, scenery to rendering and it doesn't hold us in our work uh, flow in our production so let's click on um, now okay, we'll go on the front okay, let's go so that back right click and we say um, hide from render also what I want to do I want to take ground and move it as well and hide from render this as well so we'll take front enable to render make it visible okay next we go ahead and render this one and at that point we also want to include our alpha as animation so we can after perform um masking we we'll render let's um actually render a little bit smaller resolution this time we'll go final just so it will be faster and we'll render only five minutes and we'll trim other ones as well We'll just do this so our animation can perform faster and for the tutorial. Okay, so we'll set up the front AVI and front alpha AVI. Be sure our format is uh, uncompressed. We're all done and let's click render animation. This will same, it will add it to our render queue. Okay, let's right now pause our tutorial and we'll be back when. Um, both of those parts is rendered.